One of the things that I wanted to talk about this week um, is something that's been coming up more and more often, and I thought it was going to go away. After the Super Bowl, when there were all the commercials, the Super Bowl, not this last one, but the one before, when all of the commercials were for crypto um, this and crypto that and every celebrity telling you to invest in crypto, and then immediately thereafter the whole crypto market tanked. And so I was hoping that that would be the end of it, that we would stop hearing about crypto. But oh, no, it's still around. Um, and the particular form in which I find it kind of troubling or problematic for, you know, our arena, you know, sphere that we work in uh, with cooperatives is uh, something called distributed autonomous organizations or DAOs, DAOs for short. And um, I don't necessarily want to try to explain all of like how the blockchain works or anything like that, but sufficient to say that a uh, DAO is a uh, organization or it is, is what a DAO is, is a contract that exists on the blockchain and that um, automatically executes. And so that you can, um, you know, make agreements between, uh, you know, multiple people and conceivably set up like voting systems using these contracts so that you can have some kind of semblance of a democratic organization, quote unquote, on the chain. Um, these are problematic and we do have uh, co-op people who are uh, quite, you know, you know, uh, into them and um, promoting them and trying to use them for different things. I'm not a fan for a number of reasons um, that, you know, there's the, the obvious environmental issues that come along with all things uh, cryptocurrency, um, which all DAOs are um, of necessity. So there's those, but a specific problem that arises with uh, DAOs when trying to do anything resembling a co-op through them is that they are code. And so while a lot of people talk about DAOs um, as though that's like, you know, you you make an agreement with people and you, you know, set up how your your DAO is going to operate and, and uh, you know, you have conversations in English, <laughs> you know, you make decisions and you, you know, um, and sign a contract. Well, the problem is that the actual contracts uh, look a little something like this, and I will have to share my screen here. Here we go. Um, so this right here, and this is from a blog that I wrote and uh, posted on our our website here you can see um, last week. And so this right here is uh, the actual smart contract, as they're called. Now, if you can tell me what this says or does, you're a better person than I am. Um, you, you obviously have to be a coder of some variety to understand what this says. Now, this should be obvious why this is a problem for doing a co-op using this quote unquote you know this technology um it'd be like you know and as i say in the blog it would be like if somebody asked you to join a co-op and when you were presented with the bylaws they're written in a foreign language and when you ask for a translation you get like a paraphrase summary in english but not a word for word translation and when you sign the actual document it's in a language that you know you don't you don't speak like is that something that you would sign up for. And I, I don't think it's something that most people would be comfortable with for obvious reasons. Um, you have to take the word of whoever can read the thing to tell you what's in it. And of course, this is on the internet. So I don't know if you're aware, but people have been known to lie on the internet from <laughs> time to time. Um, so uh, this is, um, yeah, this, this is a real problem. Um and it's not just a uh, you know a theoretical problem. A lot of these uh, DAOs have um, turned into what they call rug poles or something. You know, there was some 
line of code in there that you know somebody was either able to exploit or that was put in there purposefully that allowed you know all the money that everybody had put into their joint fund that they were going to decide how to spend you know got siphoned away a bunch of it um because it's a it's a it's a piece of code that works automatically and so like anything if somebody you know knows how to make it do something that they want it to do uh they can you know they can make that happen so um this is a real problem uh for for DAOs, and i suppose um that you know maybe for people who are savvy and and can read this language and can for themselves like see what they're getting into that you know conceivably it could be something you know that would be all right but i really don't think it's a good idea for anybody really you know to be pushing these things for just normal people like all of us here and probably most people who watch this that have no idea what this means and are not going to be able to verify for themselves what's in it so um i'll stop rambling now anybody wants to chime in or where 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 is this coming from any particular organization and do we know anything about their history um so there are a number of of DAOs um it's it, it, they're basically it's just like, it's an organizational structure that arose on the ethereum blockchain so of course blockchain was uh, you know the the original blockchain for bitcoin was basically just for you know buying uh digital tokens for uh real you know dollars for for actual money and then exchanging those tokens with other people hoping that the price would go up and then you know you sell them for dollars uh later well if so ethereum is another one of those doing you know for doing the same kind of things but then also allows like allows you to write little like programs in the block chain um that because you know the whole idea with all this cryptocurrency stuff is that it's um all the data or whatever is stored in uh like lots of different places a distributed ledger as they call it so um it, you know it can't easily be changed once it's it's done it's done it's kind of set in stone because you can't change all of the different um ledgers um so people once that tech once that became available that you could make little programs on the blockchain people started using it that ability to do different things one of them was to you know say oh well i'm going to have a dao to you know as an example um a group of people wanted to uh you know purchase uh some some sci-fi textbook they you know they they started a dao to uh, buy like a first edition of dune by frank herbert and um you know and so they all put their money in and then they voted on i don't know how much they wanted to bid for the book or whatever um using this smart contract um and so people in technology and you know who are working in technology already or you know who are have been following crypto and who are also interested in co-ops you know kind of sort of like oh maybe we can do some co-op stuff uh, with it there's actually i don't remember their name offhand or i don't remember it exactly and i don't really want to give them um publicity but there are some actual uh DAOs who call themselves uh co-ops it seems uh questionable to me i don't know you know um but uh fortunately the the people who i am most familiar with who are kind of in a similar sort of space are the disco people distributed um distributed cooperative organizations and they're a group of people who started out looking at DAOs as a way to do co-op stuff and then quickly realized oh this blockchain stuff is kind of nonsense and we don't really need it and then proceeded to you know create their own uh system of you know their own kind of software for keeping track of different types of value uh the people were contributing to their um cooperative which uh does actually uh, translations so 
um, that's like, so that was like a good thing that came out of it, but there's, there are lots of people still. Um, and if you like, you know, kind of go on the platform, uh, platform.coop, uh, website, uh, for the platform cooperativism consortium, um, you'll find stuff about DAOs on there. It's a normal, a regular topic of conversation at all the platform co-op stuff nowadays. So this is kind of my shot across the bow, I suppose, and saying, look, I don't, I think there's some serious problems. Obviously, the people who are supporters are not going to be bringing this stuff up, but I do think it's incumbent upon us who are just trying to think critically about this stuff to, you know, uh, not, not keep our mouth shut too much. All right. So your, your problem with it is mainly that people who join may not know what they're getting into because the language isn't clear. Well, yeah, that it's really not possible, you know, for people to know what they're signing up for unless they can read the, you know, uh, the code and that, um, like that's a, that's a serious problem. There are, uh, there are many other problems with the whole blockchain technology, why I think it's not appropriate um, for people trying to do sustainable cooperative stuff. For one, uh, one of the big reasons that I point to in the blog is that while these things, DAOs and, and blockchain in general, but DAOs in particular have been around for several years now, um, nobody can point to anything they've actually accomplished with them, like in the real world. Mm -hmm. um the, there are people all the stuff that the existing DAOs do is just buy and sell cryptocurrencies and nfts and do stuff on the blockchain and so they're like organizations that you know it's where people a bunch of people put some of their bitcoin into a group wallet and then they vote on how to spend that you know where to what to do with that money which is a you know a kind of standard co-op thing um, but they're just, it's, it's only within the, the crypto ecosystem. So on social.coop where there are a number of people who are both interested in cooperatives and tech and several who are supporters of DAOs and crypto and stuff. Um, a guy named the blockchain socialist uh, among them who goes by that moniker, uh, um, <laughs> ask them specifically, like, you know, it, can you point me to some examples of a DAO that has done something in the real world that's good, right? That's a positive thing, and that couldn't have been done without this the blockchain bit. And nobody could point to anything. Nobody had mm. anything. Um, the only thing I got um, was a couple of people pointing to DAOs that just were like, you know, putting money together to support an artist through buying their NFTs. Like, okay, that's, but <laughs> that's still just on the blockchain. Um, and then, you know, some academic articles about the potential for DAOs that they could, you know, conceivably do something good. But again, it's, it's been a minute and people, have been, <laughs> and, and there's nothing really to show for it. And I think there's some, some reasons for that. Another reason why I have a problem with it is, just encouraging people like normies as they would call like people like <laughs> us who are not already into the crypto thing to get mm -hmm. involved with this like so that we can be part of this dow co-op thing is that in order to get involved you first have to buy into the crypto market to begin with mm -hmm. you have to mm -hmm. first buy some ethereum so that you can join this dow which means you are putting your finances into a space the crypto space that is full of scams like i would say mostly scams mm -hmm. um and there's been plenty of studies that have you know found that a lot of the activity in trading and stuff is is um people like buying and selling to themselves to try to arbitrarily drive prices up and stuff like that and it's full of ponzi schemes and it's full of you know full of this kind of multi-level marketing type stuff and so it, by encouraging people to get involved with DAOs, I see it as like it's dangerous because you're just encouraging people to get involved with this crypto stuff, which is largely fraudulent. And, you know, now with, you know, FTX and there's, you know, every single day there's new stories about, you know, they're just there's some 
the one one of two banks that actually would work with crypto people is now collapsing because they got involved with crypto. So um, I think it's personally, I think it's it's something that we should <laughs> stay well away from um, as co-op people on on just on that alone. But.